Hello everybody, my name is Samarinth00, and welcome back to another building tutorial. In this video, we will be building this Japanese-style castle. I hope everybody enjoys the video. Let's get building. First thing we're going to want to do is lay out a 27 by 27 uh, square. That is going to be the foundation of our castle. And then, and I will be using deep slate because I like the look. I like how it goes uh, with the rest of the block palette. For the, the whole 20 by 7 by 27, you want it two layers high. Once you get it two blocks high, you want to go in by one block and another two layers. And once you have this second layer done, we're going to come in by one block again, and this time it'll be three blocks high, and do that all the way around. And lastly, we will be coming in by one block again, and it'll be four blocks tall. And once again, all the way around. And there we go. So once you have that finished, uh, we're going to just lay down one block uh, uh, as a floor, except not doing it down here on the grass. Uh, we actually want to make the floor at this level, or else, if we did it here, we would just have this one little sort of area that it doesn't look good from the inside. So the floor will be here, where at least there's a two block space, uh, and it looks a little nicer. And you can do this in any block that you want. Uh, if you don't want to keep going with the deep slate, I would also recommend spruce wood because that will be another staple block in this build. And once you have the floor in place, we want to punch out uh, an entranceway in the middle. We'll make it three blocks wide and three blocks tall. And I'm gonna put a few upside down stairs there to make it a little bit more of an archway. As well as I'm also going to extend it out by one block to match with uh, this right here. Stairs there, stairs there. I like that. And then we are going to use our, oh, not those yet. Deep slate tile, or deep slate tiles, yes. And then the slabs there. Not the cracked, the regular. All right, so we now have a little entranceway into the castle. And the last thing we are going to do is put the deep slate tile stairs uh, all around here uh, on every level except this one right here. So starting there, just go around with the stairs. This will prevent any uh, mobs from spawning on your castle and you don't have to light it up. Alright, and one one last thing that I almost forgot. Oh no. Huh. Sometimes this will happen uh, when you're building if you don't measure. Measure first. You know the saying, uh, measure twice, cut once. Well, I measured once and now I'm going to have to cut twice because I put my doorway not in the middle. We're going to do it right this time. I'm 
Okay. So this should be the middle block. Need to get rid of this. do our entrance. Some of y'all might have noticed that before, before me. All right. Now that that's fixed, as I was saying, the last thing we need to do is take these cracked deep slate tiles and just sprinkle them around, uh, replacing the regular deep slate tiles every once in a while, just to add a little bit of texture. It's not going to be that much of a difference, uh, but, but just a little bit a adds a little character to the build. And it is completely up to your desire for how you want your build to look. Uh, don't let me tell you how you should texture your builds. I'm still not not the best at it, but I'm learning and that's all that we can do. So we're just gonna don't replace the, the stairs with the block though. That wouldn't be great. And once you're done texturing with the cracked deep slate, the foundation of our castle is all complete. For the first layer, you are going to need spruce logs, smooth quartz blocks, spruce fences, dark prismarine stairs and slabs. So we're going to do use the spruce logs here at the corners and go eight blocks up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to do that on each corner. And in the center block as well. Once that's done, we're going to come to a corner post and count one, two, three, four, and on the fifth block up, we're going to start our cross beams. And that's just going to wrap around the whole building. And once those are in, we're going to move on to the courts. Now, if you're building this in survival mode, uh, or somewhere that you can't easily get a lot of quartz using white concrete or even snow uh, snow blocks will work just as well just keep in mind that if you want to use snow not to put any light sources too close to it or it'll melt but me personally I love the look of quartz as you can tell from my other builds so we're gonna take this and along the bottom layer it's all the way across and the same on the top right there but we are going to leave some room one block in from each post for a couple of two by two windows and it's going to be this same pattern uh, on each section they're all the same and in those windows we can actually just put our spruce fences in to act as our little windows And 
once that's all done, we'll move to this uh, little second layer. This time, the windows are going to be uh, one block wide by still two blocks tall, but they're going to be directly uh, on the wood. And we're going to have them in these locations here. One block in and in the middle. Everywhere, everywhere else can get covered by the quartz. Just like that. So the top layer above the support beam will look like that. And now the last, excuse me, not the last step, but close. We're finishing up. We're going to start on the uh, a, a small roof section that comes down after the first level uh, before going up the rest of the way. So we're going to use our dark prismarine stairs uh, there at the top and then to the side and after these two levels we're going to switch to the prismarine slabs. One layer of slabs there and then we're going to use another layer of slabs there. So it will extend three blocks out from the wall, but it's four blocks from the next level. So we're going to do that all the way around. Actually, before we do that, I'm going to show you all how to make the corners as well, because those can be a little tricky. So, once you have your corner looking like this, you want to break one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, like that, as well as that block there. Then one, two, one, two, you go up by one block here, make an L shape like that and then one block there just curling it up and that is going to be on all four corners so just extend this pattern along the entire edge of the building and now once you have the roof looking like that now there is one more step we need to do to complete the first level and that is we are going on the two sides uh, we are going to add a couple little sort of outcroppings on the roof so we are going to go right here is where we're going to start and we're going to have two of them on each side so we want to have them there and there this sort of Going up at an angle like that. And then here in the middle, obviously uh, we can't have, we don't have any sort of V-shaped block here to put in the middle, so we're just going to have to settle for, nope, wrong block placing our stairs on to either side of the, the middle to make it match. It's going to match all these stairs up to each other. Hmm. Aha! I almost forgot, or excuse me, I did forget. We need two more types of blocks. We need stone brick slabs and good old stone bricks. 
like that. So now once you have the sort of outlines looking like that, we are going to come in behind it and we need to break these stairs here. And we're going to place our quartz. Like so. We will have a small little window uh, going right here, so we want to break that stair as well, and replace it with quartz, and put our spruce fence there. like so. And now uh, we can just continue the stairs across uh, to meet this uh, imaginary wall that we don't have in place yet. And the same with the stone bricks and the stone brick slabs. I'll show you again. All right, so it should end up looking like that. Uh, and now do the same thing on the other side, but not the front or the back. All right, so now both sides are done, and that is the first level all finished up. Time to move on to the second. And for the second level, the corner support pillars are going to be 11 blocks tall. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And it's starting from the block above the prismarine stairs. Still going to have the pillar in the middle. And for support beams, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five on the fifth block up and then four on the fourth block up. Same way we're gonna do this whole way around. Alright once you have your pillars and support beams in back to the courts. For each section on the bottom it is going to be two blocks in from each side, two blocks in the middle, and two blocks in from the side again to leave two two by one windows. So this same uh, setup on the four sections that are on the front and back of the castle. On the sides, they are just going to be straight quartz because of these right here. We don't leave a whole bunch of room for windows. All right, and when you have that section done, this part is only going to have one window right there. 
It will still be a two by one though, but the rest of this will be covered by quartz. So you should have one more window uh, on top of the other, on the windows that are on closest to the corners on the front and the back. And then on the sides, once again, it's just going to be uh, entirely quartz. All right, and then once that's done, we have one more little section left. This is just going to be entirely quartz the whole way around. All right, and for the r roof for the second level, we're actually gonna do uh, one layer of roof kind of in the middle here, and then another one on top. And now the layer kind of in the middle gonna get a little bit wonky so bear with me it will have a curve on the front and the back uh, that goes up a bit so it will end up looking something like this maybe <laughs> who knows if it'll actually all go according to plan A little curve like that on the front and the back. Uh -huh. I just realized I messed up a little bit. I should have put the windows one higher like that. So I'll go fix that on the back side as well. All right, and that's taken care of, and the rest of the roof will go around like this, just keeping it uh, level on the sides. And this time, instead of doing stair, stair, slab, slab, this time it will just be stair, stair, and one slab going around the building like this. And since it's a little different, I'll show you the corners again for this one. Basically the same thing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Break those. Break that middle stair. Slab, 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 slab. Slabs in an L shape on the top. And then slab right there. Same thing on this side. Break one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one. Two slabs, slabs in an L, and then one slab there. All right, and now to connect all of this, we're going to be using uh, mostly slabs. Let's see, give me one second to do a little bit of math. I think I've got it. Gonna go like this. Two slabs out the front like that. So there's three across. Then we need it one down, two across. Do the same on this side. So three across, two across, and then we'll do 
one across, one across, and one across. Like that. Again, so we have three, two, broke that block by accident. One, 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 like that. So it should look like this on the front and back. And then on the sides, just straight across. All right, and once you have the roofing wrapped around the whole building with that little curve in it on the front and the back. We are going to put another uh, little outcropping on the sides, except it is not going to be two little outcroppings. It's going to be one big one. So starting at this block, I'm going to put a stair there at the very edge of the roof this time. Keep it going a little bit, and we're going to do the same thing on this side. Let them meet in the middle. Now, once again, stone brick, stone brick slabs. And we're also, once again, going to fill in the back with quartz. Make sure to get behind these uh, little corners right here where the stairs are, or else you'll just have empty space there, and it won't look good. Like that. And now it just look, it looks a little plain right there. So we are going to make a little window there and there. Place some quartz in the back and our spruce fences in the hole like that. And then we'll do the same as we did for the others and continue the stairs uh, to meet the wall. and then stone bricks and the stone brick slabs. And it should look end up looking like this. And do that on both sides. All right, and once you have those uh, both those outcroppings on each side, we are going to do the roof on this section. This time is going to be very similar to uh, the first one we did. We'll have stair, stair, slab, slab, like that. Going all the way around, and I'll show you real quick. When it meets this, we just curve the stairs to link up with it. Just run the stairs right into it, and it'll meet up like that. And basically the same thing with the slabs. Of course when you go like that it doesn't work so you just break that stair and put a slab instead. Same thing with this last one. 
it just that one uh, meets up with it because it is a bottom half slab instead of a top. All right, and then the corner is the same as I've been showing you. One, two. One, two. Make the L shape and make the corner. All right, and we're just going to do that all the way around, and I'll be back. All right, and once you have the roof wrapped around like that, we are once again going to put some outcroppings on it, this time not on the sides, but on the front and back. So this time we're going in, in from the roof by two blocks, so right here, and we are going to basically continue the roof line, uh, how it looks here. So this block should just be straight, goes straight across. Like that. And we're also we're going to uh, make it two outcroppings, so they're going to meet here and here, so we want to mark out the uh, end points as well. So that's the middle block. So we want stair there. Basically. I think I goofed. Oh, yes, I did. So, we're actually going to use I don't know, a uh, prismarine, dark prismarine block, or two slabs stacked on top of each other, like that. And that will allow us to place a block there. Like that, in order for it to meet up like that. Boom. And where it meets up like this, just put a block there so it doesn't look funny. We'll do the same on this side. Block and slab. Back to quartz. We're going to fill it in in the back. Right there. Break these top ones. Fill it in just like this. And then once again, on the sides of them, break a block there for fence posts, tactus, little windows that actually don't serve any functionality because we're going to block them off. All right, we'll get that done uh, on the back side as well. What we have so far. Uh, we've got our foundation, first layer, second layer, and now we're going to work on the third. So back to our spruce logs. At each corner and in the middle, we're going to go six high. Glitching out a little bit there. So six high at each corner and in the middle. And the 
cross beams four are on the fourth block up. Just like this. All right, so we'll do that on all four sides. And once you have all of our posts and beams in, back to quartz. On the front and back, we aren't going to have any uh, windows just because we don't have any room for them. But on the sides, where we have a lot of room, we are going to make it two two by one windows right there. And then on the top side, it's just going to be quartz all the way around. Man. Just like this. So we're going to repeat this all the way around and I'll meet you back to do the roof. All right, so once you have that all done, it's time to start on the roof again. So this time, when we make our roof, it's going to be almost the same as it has been. Two stairs there, slab there, slab there. But we're also going to have one more stair up top. if I can get it placed. <laughs> so it's going to end up with three stairs and two slabs uh, going along down the roof and the corners will be just the same as before. I'll show you one more time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, mm, nope, just the one. Two blocks there, L shape there, and the one block there. And we're going to continue that pattern all the way around. All right, and once you have that all done, we will be having one last outcropping on the front and the back. It's going to be uh, about the same size as these ones, uh, just one in the middle. And it is also going to be two blocks back from the edge. So, I'm going to count one, two blocks away from this part here. And on the third block is where we're going to do it. So, solid block there. Nope. Solid block there. And we'll start. It will, it'll end up being a little bit bigger. But not a whole lot. Just like that. Once again, placing the quartz behind it. And this time, it'll be a two by one right there. Make sure to fill that in with quartz. And then continuing the stairs 
like so. Just like that. And we'll put one more on the back side. One correction I need to make uh, to what I was just telling you about. Uh, actually, you count one, two, and on this block, uh, you place a stair facing that way up against the solid block like that. Uh, I uh, just I forgot about that the, that stair needs to face that direction uh, up against this block. Other than that, everything else is the same. And last but certainly not least is the final layer. We'll go back to our spruce logs and in the corners and all the support posts, corners and middle, we want to go eight blocks high. Just like that. And the support beams are going to be one, two, three, four on the, no, excuse me, on the fifth block. Just like that, all the way around. And once you have your beams in, we're going back to the quartz. I'm going to start with the sides. Quartz goes on the top and bottom all the way across. And on these sides, we're just going to leave a space for two windows. Right in the middle. Just like that. Once again, two windows. And then on the top part, it'll be the same. Two windows like this, just no quartz underneath them. So the, each side should have, uh, should look like that. And then on the front and back, these top sections will be the exact same. Like that. But the bottom is only going to have one window. You can see this is where the window would have been. It's covered up by the stair. So we're only going to have the window right here. So it'll look like that on the front and back. All right, and that is the final level walls completed. Time to move on to the roof. And this will be the final roof. So once again, we're going to do our same pattern as before. stairs across the top, on top, and along the side of the top block. Hmm, misclicking all over the place. And then two slabs, like so. And once you extend uh, this pattern all the way along and give it the same corners as we've been doing, then uh, I'll be back to show you the rest of the roof. Once you get to this point, you then want to extend the roof a couple more times up with stairs 
like so. I'll say do a whole nother ring around it uh, twice more. So if that was one, we'll do one more uh, level like that. And then we're going to get into some fancier stuff. And then we are going to actually not not break that block, but break these blocks here so that these corners stop bending like that and they turn back into normal stairs. We'll just put a full block there. And we're going to extend the front and back slopes to meet each other at the top. Like so. And once you get there, you guessed it, stone bricks. And we're also going to cover the inside portion with quartz, like that, so there's not a huge gaping hole uh, from the side. So we'll do that again on this side. And now we will just extend these stairs to cover the rest of the roof. And once you finished with that, we are almost done. All we need is a couple more blocks. So we need stone brick stairs and raw gold. So coming up to the very top, we will put stone brick stair, stone bricks, stone brick stair, two stone bricks, stone brick stair, upside down stair, stair there, three slabs across like that, and a block of raw gold right at the top. Same thing on this side, upside down stair, block, stair, block, block, stair, stair, upside down stair, gold, and one, two, three. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the completed uh, Japanese style uh, castle or pagoda. Let's give it a minute, or let's check this out with the shaders on. Oh, that's looking pretty. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I will not be detailing how to do the interior. I myself am not a, uh, not a huge a uh, fan of doing in decorating interiors. Uh, I am, you know, I'm trying to get better at it, but I am not at the level where I would be comfortable making a video for you guys. So that will be up to your individual imaginations. But I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.